What's going on everybody? It's The Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be discussing a player that in my opinion has a big season in store in terms of next season, and I think it's going to be very well needed. His name is Patrick Williams, ladies and gentlemen, still only 20 years old, but I think there's a lot that's going to be put on his shoulders next season. I want to talk about the implications of what it could be if he has a good season or a bad season, and just your overall thoughts and opinions on Patrick Williams and how big he could be for this Chicago Bulls team next next season. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts on whether or not you think Patrick Williams will have a big year for the Chicago Bulls next season. And I think it's going to be very much important. I think we put a lot of, I guess, risk in terms of development and the development involves Patrick Williams. If Patrick Williams comes out next season, has an incredible season, I think that's what the Bulls are banking on more than just going after a big name signing or anything like that. We don't really know what side of the coin the Bulls are going to be on, but I think that's where we're leaning towards, which means Patrick Williams is going to be, in my opinion, big in for a big season. Obviously, when it comes to risks, you don't personally know. Patrick Williams' development so far has been very, very strange. Obviously, the first season in which he's entered the Chicago Bulls team, I believe the Summer League was cancelled. There was no fans in the arena for the majority of the first season in which he played. The second season, he was majority of the time injured. And even when he wasn't injured, all the COVID protocols and stuff like that. So even when he was training, he was still training by himself or training with a select few people. It was very, very, very weird, very, very weird time for the NBA in general. I'm not saying Patrick Williams is the only person that suffers from this, but he's definitely a big part of that. The first two seasons of his career has been very, very weird. Not many rookies will ever experience that again, and pretty much everybody in that draft class had to experience to suffer some of some of very unfortunate fates in terms of their development and how good they could have been if they actually had full development compared to how good they are now. Next season is going to be the first really full normal season for Patrick Williams, where look, the protocols are still going to be there for the majority, but it's not going to be anywhere near as damaging as it was last year. There's going to be fans in the arena for the majority of the time in which Patrick Williams will be playing, and hopefully fully healthy, he'll have a full season as a starting, most likely power forward position, where he can hopefully make the position his own. We've always seen glimpses out of Patrick Williams, but unfortunately, glimpses might not be enough for some people heading into next season. Looking at his season averages last season with only 17 uh, games played, he had 9 points per game, 4.1 rebounds, 0 0.9 assists, shooting 52.9% from the field at 51.7% from the three-point line. So his offense is there in my opinion. He's making three-point shots with a high efficiency and he's making his shots with high efficiency in general. I guess the next step for Patrick Williams is to find that aggression and being able to take his game to the next level offensively where he can be one of those guys that can help take over over the game, one of those guys that can contribute offensively and be a go-to scorer. I think that's where the development in Patrick Williams lies heading into future seasons in the NBA. And hopefully, if he could take that step next season, I think that's all I really expect from him. If anybody's coming into next season and saying Patrick Williams needs to average 20 points per game, I honestly don't think you know what this team is going to be all about next season. You got DeMar DeRozan that's probably still going to have a very similar season from last year to this year. You got Zach Levine that's going to be, hopefully, again, fingers crossed, fully healthy, and he'll be taking a lot of the reins offensively. You've obviously got Vooch as well. That's going to be good for around 17 to 20 points per game. Lonzo Ball as well will probably take a lot of the pressure off from the three-point line. I don't think Patrick Williams is going to average 20 points per game next season. But it's about being more aggressive, taking more shots per game, and being able to make your shots as well. If Patrick Williams can somehow average between 13 to 15 points next season, that's a huge improvement because we know the future lies with Patrick Williams. And we've seen when he is the vocal point of a team in those small glimpses from the Summer League to the Minnesota Timberwolves game last season to some of the playoff games, he can be good for 20 points. He can be good for 30 points and he can do it with high efficiency and he can make it very easy to do as well. It just comes down to that balance. A, it comes down to being more aggressive. B, and obviously C, it comes down to what everybody else is doing around him. If DeMar DeRozan's having a bad game and Zach Levine's having a bad game, the idea is to go to maybe Patrick Williams for some scoring. And he could be, I guess for certain games, the go-to guy. That's what I like to see. Everybody has their good and bad games. We've seen a couple of times with Vucevic. Vucevic was our go-to guy for some of those games where he had mismatches and he was making his shots left, right and center. You go to Vucevic and he can help you win a game. 
Same with Demar. Obviously, missed the fourth quarter. He's the go-to guy. He'll most likely always be the go-to guy. Same with Zach Levine. But when those guys are not feeling it, there's always going to be those one or other two guys that will have to step up. And Patrick Williams, in my opinion, has to be that guy. We'll talk about the implications. Again, I think if Patrick Williams averages between 13 to 15 points per game next season, if that's a possibility, that's a huge step in the right direction. And I think the faith that the Bulls have given to Patrick Williams will fully be satisfied if that could be what Patrick Williams does next season. If he has a very similar, I guess, performance between last season with only 17 games played and this season with hopefully 82 games played, that is something where many people might have given up their hope on Patrick Williams and probably will feel that he's going to be what he is for the majority of the rest of his career. He's going to be a relatively quiet guy, team player first and foremost, can really be a good two-way player, but not the superstar that we expect. So that's where, I guess, the differences lie. That's where most people have their confidence in Patrick Williams or don't have their confidence in Patrick Williams. But I think a huge step is going to be necessary. But it's not the, it's not the defining thing. It's not the end or be all. We've got to remember that we're putting a lot of pressure on a 20-year-old player. May You may lose your confidence in Patrick Williams. You may not. But I don't agree with the idea that we should be trading talent two years into their NBA career just because one season he was not healthy and one season he was relatively inconsistent. I think that's ridiculous in my opinion. Again, you got to let these, t these players develop into the players that they're going to be in the future. I feel like the Bulls, again, I'm not going to generalize, but I feel like some Bulls fans do have this sort of feeling where after two years, you just trade him. You don't fully understand and grasp the development. I think that's a Lakers mentality in my eyes. I always feel like the Lakers are the ones that goes after and pursue superstars rather than, again, obviously there are a lot of outliers here, Kobe Bryant and stuff like that. But I think in recent times, the Lakers have always gone for superstars. They pursue superstar talent to come to LA, like LeBron, like Anthony Davis, and, and the list goes on. Even you could have considered Russell Westbrook before, obviously, he's had a little bit of a decrease in his NBA career. For recent times, the Lakers have been trying to attract talent rather than develop them. They traded Lonzo and Ingram. They traded Randall. They traded a lot of their young talent to go and get superstar players. So at the end of the day, I don't want to take that approach. I want to develop our plays into something. We have Zach Levine here. We have DeMar DeRozan here. We have Vucevic here. We've got a, a lot of young guys in Io and Patrick Williams and even Kobe White that are still here, Dale and Terry. If we could develop these guys beyond the core that we have, we're in for a very, very good treat next season. And we could be one of the better competitors in the NBA. But that comes down to risk as well. It does. It's a risky game, but it could be a very beneficial game. And I'm hoping Patrick Williams can deliver on a very big season. If he doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't mean we should trade him, although I've lost faith in him. But I know a lot of Bulls people will head in that direction. But if he does have a big season, if he does improve his scoring in some way, and he ends up playing, again, a lot of game time, and he develops and he flourishes in that position, then I think a lot of people will continue to have that faith in Patrick Williams. It's a big season, but it's not all based on him. As something Zach Levine said as well, everybody needs to take a step. It's not just Patrick Williams. We've got a lot of young guys here that we're hoping will take the next step. Patrick Williams is one of them, but there are many more on that list in which I hope we can find a way to develop, nurture, and eventually have a balance of young talent that's taken the next step and core pieces, veteran pieces that have been there and done that before. That's the perfect balance, and that's how I feel the Chicago Bulls will attack next season and probably seasons after that as well. So, in relation, I guess in conclusion, does it mean everything in Patrick Williams takes the next step? Probably not. I know people will lose their faith, but if he does take that next step, I think everybody, most people will be on board with what Patrick Williams can do from the future on. I think if anybody's expecting 20 points per game from Patrick Williams next season, you're asking for too much with the amount of offensive talent that we have. There's only a select few shots you can take with 48 minutes being played. But if Patrick Williams can edge out to the 12, 13 to 15 point margin, then I think he's had a good step. And when there's more shots available for him, I think he'll be ready for, the, for when that time comes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in another one, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.